Today we're tying the Natchez B. The Natchez B uh, came about during an incident where I, uh, I was witness to a swarm of bees over an elk carcass while hunting in eastern Washington. Um, and as the hard winds would blow the wet bees back into the water, the cutthroat were, uh, were gorging on them. Uh, very aggressive strikes. I was able to watch the incident for uh, well past a half hour and uh, it got me thinking so I went back to the dying bench and uh, put together this pattern just on the off chance that it would work uh, and it did. It did very well there uh, both as an attractor and I believe as a bee pattern. Uh, the, the strikes have, were uh, extremely aggressive which told me that they saw it as a bee as, uh, as I had witnessed. Uh, so I've kept it in my box. Uh, I've fished it in the east coast as well and uh, stocked fish, browns, rainbow, across the board coast to coast seem to take this pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if they always take it as a bee but it's a very aggressive strike when they do take it which tells me that they are seeing it as a bee. Alright, I begin with uh, a size 12 uh, bent shank dry fly hook and I, I use black 6 aught uni thread and next I bring the thread back to the, the point of the barb and I tie in some flat waxed nylon thread that's going to be your ribbing. Now I, I list this pattern in my book Tomorrow's Fish and I use Twisted Antron as the body. Uh, I have tied it that way and I did for a long time. I believe a standard dubbed body that I'm going to show you now floats a little bit better than the Antron. And that's what I've, I've gone back to. The original pattern did show, did have uh, a dubbed thorax and abdomen. And I, I do think that it floats a little better. So we're using yellow rabbit, hairline rabbit, and you're going to keep a slender body, not very large at all. And you're going to dub the body up to about the, just past the midpoint, about the 60% mark. And then I like to take my flat wax and twist it, uh, get a little bit tighter. You can use a dubbing tool if you wanted to to twist it, but I usually twist it by hand. And don't go too crazy with the wraps. I keep it sparse, fairly sparse, uh, wide ribbing. done with that flat waxed. Next you're going to tie in your wing. I use light done CDC for my wing. I sweep the barbs back and I tie these in in delta fashion. I leave the stems in, I do not trim these. And I'll tie the first one in and I'll give it about three wraps and then I'll pull it in to the length that I want. I tie this with the wings extended about gap length past the bend of the hook. And then I'll tie in the other in the same manner, just the opposite side. A few wraps. Draw it into about the same. And then bind it down and cut it off. give you your, your splayed wings. 
Next you're going to tie in your hackle. I use size 12 dry fly hackle. I trim the butts to lock it in well and I tie it in dry fly fashion. And then you're going to follow that with your thorax. I use dark brown dubbing. Uh, I have used Angora. Angora has a little bit of a sheen to it. I found that to do very well as well. We're tying with dark brown rabbit today. Uh, that's pretty much what I tie most of my patterns with. Uh, you're going to tie a fairly substantial, almost stimulator style thorax. Slightly tapered. You're going to build it up. And then next you're going to bring your hackle forward. I like to do one full wrap behind the thorax then begin my palmer and I keep this pattern fairly tight not a lot of space between wraps You don't want to include all of the thorax, but you want a heavy, a heavy hackle. And then with finish. And then last but not least with this pat with this pattern, um, like you see in a number of my patterns, I like this pattern to lay in the film, so I do trim the bottom of my hackle with a V notch about halfway up. Don't trim it all the way to the thorax, but about halfway up, um, about a quarter inch wide. Slide your scissors back, trim that notch. That allows this pattern to sit flush in the film even with the Delta wings, the CDC wings. And I think it, uh, it enhances this pattern quite a bit. That's the Natchez B, uh, or as I refer to it in Tomorrow's Fish as the Incidental Hatch. Uh, an excellent pattern. I've fished it coast to coast. It's been in my box quite a m number of years. I uh, hope it's a good addition to yours as well. Good luck on the water.